Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First of all, let me just discuss my glasses. Ever since I became Bellatrix, which was like two days ago, but when you guys watch this, it'll seem like it was a long time ago. Um, my eyes hurt really bad from all the makeup that I put on. <laughs> so that's why I'm wearing my glasses today, because I tried putting my contacts in and my eyes were like screaming in pain. So, you know, we're gonna be wearing glasses. I'm sorry for the glare. I know how annoying it is to like see glares in people's glasses. I don't know. It bothers me, so I get it. I'm sorry. Today, what we're gonna be diving into is the rest of my Noble Collection collection. I told you guys last time I posted a Noble Collection haul that I had a lot more stuff, and so I'm gonna be showing you the rest of my things. So, this is like a large noble collection haul okay so the first thing we're gonna be showing you guys today is this ring which is a horcrux as you guys know so this is the horcrux ring it has the resurrection stone on it so it comes in a little triangle box which i thought was really clever since it's kind of like the deathly hollows i like it and um it opens like this and then the ring is in this little stand right here with the ring, unfortunately, you can't pick like this size. It comes in one size and it's ginormous. But I wish I could wear it because I would totally rock this ring. You can take it out just like that. And I'll be doing close-ups for you guys so you can see it. And mine's like kind of scratched on the top. I'm sorry. But this is the ring right here. And then the top is the stone, which eventually, you know, we find out is the resurrection stone. And it does have the Deathly Hollow symbol scratched into it, which is very nice. So it's a gold ring and the stone is like a black gray color. I really love this ring, but I think my favorite part was the stand that came with it. And it all comes together. You can't buy it separately without the stand. So no matter what, you're going to get it. So that's really nice. This set is $49 on the Nova Collection, and I know that they still have it. They sell all the Horcruxes, and so I want to eventually collect them all. Yes, this was, I think, the first one that I got was the ring. It sits right there, and then the stand that it's on actually has a mirror on it, which was interesting to me. And then, yeah, and you just have this, and then there's a mirror on the back side of it as well. And there you go. Well, the next thing that I have was actually something that I got. I think it was like the one of the first Harry Potter gifts I ever got and the first thing I ever got from Noble Collection. So this thing is ancient. It's still very nice and I'm pretty sure they still sell it. So it is this set of bookmarks, but they're like metal bookmarks with all the houses on them. And they have like their little crests, they say their name, and then on the top of it, it has like their animal. With these, I, like you'll be able to see when I do the close up that they're pretty like scratched up and the, um, the crest kind of is like disappearing on some of them. And that's because I used them when I first got them. And I stopped eventually because I had issues with these that I think they are more meant to just look pretty and not for actual real functional use because when I was using them, they started to rip my pages. I didn't have the hardcover books when I first started reading the Harry Potter series. I only had the soft cover and those pages are more flimsy than the hardcover ones. And so this was like really top heavy for the pages and it would kind of start to rip them, which was really unfortunate. So that's why I stopped using them. It wasn't really doing it for me because this gets like kind of pointy where it's supposed to go into your pages and then it was ripping i don't know unless i was doing it wrong which is the total possibility for these four bookmarks they're 1950 which is like the cheapest thing i've ever seen on noble collection so if you want some pretty sick bookmarks that represent all houses 1950 not that bad next thing i got is another whole crux for you guys this one is the slytherin locket it's cool because it has a Slytherin locket and it's hanging in this case. And just like the other one, the case comes with it. You don't have to buy it separately. And then you pull this guy up and you have your whole locket. So I love the design of this and the way it sits in the box. Because it's easy to take out and then put back on. But here is our locket. Very pretty. And then it has this chain and it's like a long chain so you could actually wear this as a necklace. I never have but it'd be good for like a Slytherin cosplay type stuff. And then it opens and then it's little green felt right here. 
and then the back side has it almost looks like writing but it's definitely not like something you can read maybe it's like some runes or something i really like this item because i like i said i wanted to collect all the horcruxes which i still have not achieved but eventually i will and i think this is really pretty and the design is nice the only thing that i wish was different was i wish that they added a, the little note that you know from rab regulus octuris black I wish that his note was in here because I think that would just add something very special to it. Although, I mean, I'm sure some people would lose it, but people like me would just keep it looking beautiful in the little note and it'd be really good for like pictures and stuff. I don't know. That's what I think about now. So I think that this is very nice. When you want to hook this back on, you just hook it wherever you please on one end and then you pull it tight on the other end and hook it like that. And then it just hangs down right there. The Horcrux locket, Slytherin locket, is $49. And that's with the case and everything. All right, the next thing that I have is something that I also got quite a while ago, but I've only actually worn it one time because it's so pretty that I just, I didn't want it to get ruined. And that's how I feel like with a lot of my Harry Potter stuff. I tend to like buy things and then I don't ever wear them because I'm just so nervous about them getting ruined. This necklace that I'm going to show you guys comes in this little box. It says Harry Potter. And then it comes with this little felt baggie that it goes in. So that's how I keep it secure. And this is the necklace right here. So it is the Phoenix. It's Fox. And it is so gorgeous and it's just like this silver. There's the chain and everything. And so it's like, it's so beautiful. The, the reason why it makes me nervous to wear it is because the pendant's really heavy and the chain is very thin. It's like a super, super thin chain. So I'm always worried that it's gonna break. Um, so I only wore it once. I actually wore it for my senior pictures when I was in high school back in my day. The detail of it is gorgeous. I love how the end of her feathers are going like, you know, all over the place. Like they're flying, like they're in the wind. It's beautiful. I love Fox. We have two more items that I'm going to show you guys. So one thing I, I think I might have showed you guys before, possibly, maybe not, um, in another video, but this sign right here is our Hogwarts Express platform nine and three quarter sign. I really love signage because I like have a wall where I hang up all my nice signs and pictures. And I thought it was really cool. It's like this thick piece of wood and it just says Hogwarts Express and then it has the um, Hogwarts crest on it and then it has our typical nine and three quarter sign. And then the backside, okay, the backside's all taped up because I taped this up so I could hang it differently but it does come with this long chain so it can hang like high on something and then it's kind of lower. I have it hung up so it's just like using these guys right here on my wall. So that's why I taped the chain all funky. In my last video I showed you guys the Diagon Alley sign with the frame that's like beautiful. So I wanted them to have like you know a matching little friend so I got this sign yeah, there's not much to it it's pretty simple it's kind of like a like a it's like a burgundy like a really dark like almost brown burgundy so it's not like the super red Hogwarts Express stuff it's definitely darker than your typical Hogwarts Express color the last item I'm gonna show you guys is my absolute favorite favorite item that I have ever gotten from the Noble Collection. It is the just the star of the freaking show. Here it is! It's the Beer of Erised. It's really weird because look at you guys can see the light on my, my setup and everything. Oh my god! So yeah, so the Mirror of Erised. This is extremely heavy and just so like authentic like I don't know it's very legit this is $69 so about $70 and um, you can actually hang it there's like hangy things but it's like really heavy that I feel like it would fall and then break so I prop it up like a picture frame because it gives you that that option right there is the normal like beautiful inscription right here 
that is written backwards i show not your face but your heart's desire which is one of my favorite quotes everything with the mirror bear set is my favorite as i feel like i've stated a thousand times to you guys it is gorgeous and amazing and i think everyone should have this because it's still like a good mirror the only thing with the mirror itself like if you're going to use it for like an actual mirror purposes there's like a tint to it you can see it there's like kind of like little dots like it's meant to look older which i'm sure is the whole purpose of it but it has like a little tint where it kind of almost looks like it's always dirty even if you like you wipe it it doesn't go away <laughs> here's the side of it it's very thick thick bottom thick bottom yeah here's my room <laughs> That was all of my Noble Collection items that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see new videos weekly that are mostly Harry Potter related. Comment down below what your favorite Noble Collection item is that I showed you guys today or if you have something that you think is amazing and I should get because I don't know what I want next. I usually have a Christmas list of Noble Collection items and my parents are usually the ones that get me one Noble Collection item every single Christmas because they are kind of pricey. But let me know what I should get next because I'm going to have to start flipping through my catalog and figure it out. Maybe I'll get another Horcrux so that I can like really start to build my collection. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.